Hello. We now come to the last chapter in the book of Hebrews. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison, and those who are mistreated as if you yourself were suffering. How do you treat people? How do you treat people? Treating people is the most significant reality in our Christian life, right? Love one another as I have loved you. After, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. Verse 4, marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Verse 5, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Keep your lives free from the lo love of money. How much money would you need? How much money do you need? How much more money do you need? Keep your lives free from the love of money. And the opposite of that is contentment. Because why? Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. The essence of contentment is the presence of God himself. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? He actually asks us to evaluate. What can mere mortals really do? So we say, the Lord is my helper. I won't be afraid. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. He has a, a series of statements here that are powerful statements. The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. This is a scripture that I've come back to again and again for my own life. So I can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I don't be afraid. What can people do to you? The scripture uses in, in Hebrews, excuse me, in Proverbs, fear of man will prove to be a snare, but he who fears the Lord will be kept safe. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Who are the people who spoke the word of God to you? I had a number of them a number of pastors, but the ones most significant to me were teachers, Mr. Burke, Mr. Riggs. They spoke the word of God to me. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. They followed Jesus, and for that I'm honored. I honor them, and I'm honored to have been taught by them. And then verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, that no matter what happens in life, Jesus is the same. No matter if a worldwide pandemic occurs, Jesus is the same. No matter if something else happens, Jesus is the same. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I love this verse. Don't be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings, for it is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace. It is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace grace. May your heart be strengthened by grace today. May you know you don't have to be afraid. May you know that you can be content in the truth of Jesus Christ. May the reality here of the book of Hebrews is Jesus is enough. Jesus is sufficient. Jesus is the most important. And Jesus is gives you the answer to all of your weakness. Please pray with me. Lord God, give us contentment in our lives. Take away our fear. May we know that no matter what happens, you don't change, and may our hearts be strengthened by grace, grace, overwhelming grace. We thank you for it. We truly thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.